Jonathan Simons, and I'm from Boston, where I have the pleasure of being the president and CEO of American Ancestors uh, New England Historic Genealogical Society. And this is a really great society. It does a lot. But can you tell us a bit about the history of the society? How, when did it start? How long has it been around? Sure. Yeah, no, we were founded in 1845, and we are the founding genealogical organization in the United States. Um, we are just about to celebrate our 175th anniversary. Today we serve 260,000 members and millions of online users with 1.4 billion records on American ancestors. Uh, but we also have a world-class uh, library and visitor center in Boston where uh, members and the public can come to use our resources, meet our staff. We have 100 full-time employees. Uh, we publish journals. We published uh, the Register since 1847. It's the oldest uh, continuously published journal in our field. Uh, and we uh, publish books. We publish about 20 to 30 books a year, including some that we're very well known for, like the Great Migration Study Project, which is about immigrants to New England between 1620 and 1640. Uh, and many other books. But, but today we reach our broadest audiences through our website and uh, through our programs around the country and abroad. Now we were talking a little bit before and you had mentioned that there are some collections that you have access to that a lot of people won't think that you would have. Can you yeah. talk about that? Sure, absolutely, Jared. Well, we, uh, we've really broadened our identity. That's why we have the American Ancestors name, because since 1845 we've collected for the whole country. And so now we have a special initiative with the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Boston to open sacramental records uh, from 1790 onwards that have never been available uh, online. Uh, in 2010, we developed a partnership with the American Jewish Historical Society, and now uh, we've taken that partnership one step farther and uh, have a Jewish Heritage Center in the society. So we have their archives and their staff, and uh, we do a lot to serve those audiences. The other thing I forgot to mention is, yeah. and the way most people see us on television, is that we are the anchor location of Finding Your Roots with Henry Louis Gates. So we work with the production team on that show, fact-checking, and uh, we have a great association with uh, Skip Gates and the PBS. That's awesome. awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking your time to talk with us today. Uh, hopefully we can get a lot more people to check out the society. And um, we have all of this information that you can see right up here. So if you want to find out more, you can. So thank you so much again. Thank you, Jared. My pleasure. Take care. Thank you.